Okay, so we created mountain. We applied a first layer of materials to this. Let's go add additional to our mountain. We again select our terrain. We'll go in material editor and we'll go to add additional uh, layers. Again, because these layers, they are image based kind of textures, what I want transparency image based, then I want to use the object parametric for that. So I'm going to create a new layer. Can we go click right there? And this layer, let's call it um, flow. And what's flow will represent it is, um, again, because this one was created inside the world machine, world machine can provide nice mappings. And flow, it's a natural weathering when water going down from the mountain, and this weathering occurred on our mountain. So we're going to use that flow to uh, put some additional touches, additional coloring to our image. So right here we enable. Let's go to color now. And as a color, we can select, for example, um, a little bit maybe reddish, kind of more work out coloring. You can see our mountains change. And next, I want to go inside the transparency for this. And in transparency, same things what we've done before, 100%. Let's remember to switch to the object parametric for us. Enable variable transparency and we'll go to edit function again. Okay, in edit function, we'll go ahead, right click and we'll go to texture map, project texture map node. So right here, a node. Okay, we can even right now, before we do, we can go ahead and just connect to grayscale output. At this point, we're ready to loaded image inside texture so let's go ahead open and if image is not here i'm going to click on our manual browser and go navigate to place where it's located okay and inside our folder right here flow it's what i want to do and you can see i also have a depth and flow so we'll go use a little bit more of them so i'll go select the flow and click ok and again the flow it's depend you can notice a right flow it's applied kind of to the heels. And if you like this way, you can keep it as well. However, I want to put it flow just where is water kind of going down. So I want to inverse my colors. So in this case, it will apply just in those. And you can see in some of those areas where I'm kind of like almost wash out some elements. So we'll go apply to this. Let's go to click OK. Okay. And back here so right there what i want to do with this flow i actually want to go and select and put flow just below snow because i want snow be on the top of this so a little bit cover and flow just under this okay a couple things also if sometimes you have a hard time to see colors you can always go right here with visibility okay and we can also modify a little bit on how we want to perceive this so if we want to specific color Okay, we can go select and it will just overlay with the color or a highlighter or we can also just use it visible and visible if we want to hide any specific things so okay this is uh, two layers so far we have it let's go add a couple more layers uh, one again a new layer and we'll set to object parametric and this will be of the depth it's where it's depositing but to make a little bit more interesting where it's depositing Let's add some of the kind of greenish, maybe even color, so we can see the difference. So I'll go into color. And for this one, I'm switching to the natural grain. So we'll use a little bit different effect for that. And one will go and select kind of pale greenish. And let's go to another one, a little bit brighter greenish. So you can see kind of like two green colors, a little bit applied. So most almost look on a places. Okay, we have it 100%, everything set, parametric. So next, what we need go inside the transparency and do same things what we've done before, enable transparency, variable transparency, edit function editor. Okay, we'll go right here. We'll go to click and texture map, projected map connect our um, transparency and it's right here on node grayscale let's go click one more time 
if it's not here we'll go browse and we'll go the depth and go open again I want to take this in inverse so I don't want all mountain green I just want those specific small areas applied so you can see how we add more and more complexity more colors overlay to our mountain and it's what will make those layers those um all the details is what will make look more real and natural okay so we added snow depth flow we have it all of those colors now new layer i want to apply it it is on the top snow and because i run out of the maps i don't have anything so i'm going to use vu native material distribution system and this is a very good time to practice see how this will apply it so we'll go ahead and add new layer snow top let's go call this so and for this one i actually want to go to alpha and we'll go and we'll select the white color okay also as a snow one thing what i want to do it is take highlights increase highlights for our snow and it add a little bit more shiny so it will have this very high pointy highlights creating somewhat look icy for us look um, we can even like probably pop up a little bit more shine a little bit more this and increase brightness so it this will create more somewhat icy look almost like on the top you can see how white looking and the controlling inside the VU VU provide also very extensive nice tools to control distribution so and for this one we can go inside the actually presence our um, tab and you notice right here we have our altitude distribution slope distribution and orientation so mostly what we're going to do is just to altitude and slope is altitude going from the bottom to top and i'm going to take um altitude in for example just going let's put all the way to 0.41 you notice right here it's about right on the top it's about right place where i want to place it maybe just a little bit down but I also don't like this very hard line applied to our mountain. Okay, let's go a little bit lower even, maybe on the middle. Okay, I don't want that high, hard line. I want smoother transition. For this, we're going to use it phasiness, phasiness on the bottom. So we'll go bring about 20%. It will should come to about this point. You can see how now it's smooth and nice start transition on this. We can also add a little bit more extend it down so we'll have a little bit more even snow cover and you can see how it's nice moving line going right this area um, next I does not look still natural for this we need to add to the slope so and this is going from the bottom kind of 180 degrees we're going and we're going to the flood so if we take this and go up to around 31 degrees you'll notice we'll start cutting right on side on top but because it's very steep mountain it does not have those effects so let's go extend a little bit more okay and you can see right here we start cutting now that is look way even better so we have it right those areas start appearing again we'll take this go a little bit down and let's increase steepness a little bit so some of those points will have it better coverage right here you can see how nice and smaller okay let's reduce because i want to see some of the rocks on these areas maybe too much bring a little bit back and you can see right here we start having a nice cover okay let's reduce this one increase contrast so i want this a little bit more contrast between snow and rocks and i think this is already up like kind of nice for us so we have those areas okay this is our snow top um one apply also on the bottom right here where we have it maybe some left from snow map if you remember on the bottom we have it or other things i want to create actually green kind of grass applied to this point so for this let's go create one more layer and notice how many we have already so i will add grass to this and as a grass we'll have it world standard it's good for this one we'll go select a natural grain and the same as before for natural grain we'll go to select a little bit brighter green on this case 
So we'll have it one green and we'll go select another green, a little bit more dual, kind of a little bit darker even. Okay, so we have two green colors right here. You can see applied. And let's go to again our presence. On this case, we actually don't want to go on top, we want to go on the bottom. So we'll cut off altitude range from the top. Okay, let's go even lower. So we'll go up to this area right here. Okay, let's go even more down. Okay, also let's do one thing. Okay, I don't need this one. I'm going to go just click one, enable highlighter. And sometimes highlighter does help if you have a hard time to see image, for example, if it was a little bit more distribution. But I think actually for us it's worked just fine. I'm going to go down even more. Okay, I think it's about right. We'll take on the top and just let it add this on this top. So I don't want this hard line. I want just like smooth, nice transition. And also, as we speak about a slope range, same things. I don't want on the sharp edges. So I'm going just to remove it, make a little bit more on a flat area supplied. It's add this kind of very nice blending to us and maybe even more. Okay, and let's add a little, little bit blending kind of nicer blending on the edges so we'll have it nicer smooth blending okay i think this is look good actually you know what let's pop up this and just slightly increase so we'll have it a little bit higher because with a slope okay it's going well let's increase one more time Okay, and I think our mountain's almost ready. So let's go click OK. Okay, save your work. Let's go select our camera. I want to take this camera and bring a little bit closer so we can see our mountain. Maybe around this way. Right here. And I'm going to render this mountain so we can preview and see what we have it so far. Okay. Let's click OK. And you notice right here we have a very nice on a mountain, nice color distribution, some greenish. Remember, this is, will be far away in a fog. So as details and coloring, it's actually very good. Again, if you needed higher details, remember, you can use higher map and uh, same distribution. But overall, we applied snow, we applied our flowing and coloring. So this is a very nice um, mountain for the background. We'll go move back and again it will be about that far away okay maybe a little bit more even depend how we're going to put it and we'll place it trees and creating lake so let's go ahead uh, we'll finish with this portion of tutorials and uh, next we'll start creating this lake up front of our camera